Welcome to build log number one for my Spearbot. If you don't know what a Spearbot is, it is a little robot that can draw on the surface of a spherical object. It's also known as an Eggbot. You can buy an Eggbot kit and build your own. But I just happen to have a lot of parts around the house, so I decided to uh, try and build my own. For the walls, I use 6mm acrylic because I found two pretty big sheets of it in my basement for something I was going to try a few years ago but never got around to. I cut them using a Ryobi 18 volt circular handheld. Uh, I just took the blade and put it backwards and it chipped a lot and the corners didn't come out very nice. Um, and these actually aren't all the same size because I just freehanded it. I didn't try and use a rail or anything to uh, make them more precise. But since all three of them did have a factory edge, I just taped the three of them together, made sure the factory edge is flat and drilled the holes that I measured already. Um, after I did these three for other smaller pieces I've done, I found the plywood blade to my Ryobi and I put that on backwards. I made myself a nice fence using a uh, couple clamps and a level and the newer pieces come out much nicer. Um, it's really hard to tell what the factory edge is. One thing I realized as much as I've played with stepper motors is that I've never actually attached the post to anything. I read online rubber blocks are great so at the local Home Depot they had these crown bolt rubber stoppers. I used an eighth inch bit and went all the way through. Then I used a three sixteenths bit and went halfway through. Uh, these are five sixteenth threaded rods and I just forced that in there pretty good then I just kept turning it and turning it until I felt it hit part where it got smaller it actually would not turn at all and then I slipped it on over the post and that was tight as well so I was pretty happy with the way that turned out the line is straight and if I need to I can drill some holes through the rubber stopper and put in some set screws to keep everything from moving but as of today this is a I think because I use such a large one of the larger stoppers they had it's pretty solid now the nerf darts were actually a bit of a headache uh, because on these ones, I don't believe they're actual Nerf darts, there was a uh, rubber piece of post that was attached to the suction cup. It went back pretty far. Um, so when the threaded rod hit it, the course you had this big wobbly end to it because it wasn't solid. So I took this part, turns out this turn flips inside out, and then I carefully twisted it until the whole post came out. I uh, used the scissors and cut the post off, then I flipped it back right side in, and I used some foam safe CA glue and a kicker to glue them back together and those are not coming apart right now but it was a bit of a pain and take a little while for me to figure out exactly what to do now on the side with the bearing I didn't want to do what I saw other people doing with wood and that is put the bearing in and then attach it to the back with two screws and some washers I since I drilled all the holes at once on all three sheets. I uh, used the first hole for the five millimeter post as my guide and I used a wood bit on my drill press. I just routed out a little bit in, on each piece of acrylic until I had enough space in there for the bearing to fit. Uh, I cut a little too much so if you see this white right here that's actually a piece of PVC pipe. I throw my chop saw and prayed that I can get a thin enough piece and on about the eighth attempt I got one and it worked. So I was very happy with that. One thing that caught me a little bit by surprise today, um, I think it's because the rod is 5 16 and the bearing is 8 millimeters. Um, there's a lot of play, but with that spring, um, it was a 4 inch spring. If I keep it really compressed, um, I can still, there's still just enough where I can pull it out and position the ping pong ball or egg but it keeps it in position in the future I think I'm going to just uh, order an 8 millimeter rod online and replace this one. So after playing around a lot with the spaces between the walls and the tension on the spring and uh, moving these nuts back and forth about a hundred times I finally have it where I can put a ping pong ball in the center and when the stepper motor is going to turn there's not a lot of movement and the ping pong ball is in there pretty good so when a, the pen hits it um, of course it's 
not going to be that much of a weight, but it won't knock the ball out. So there it is, the frame to my Spearbot. Uh, without the x-axis yet, like I said, I still have to build that, but so far, so good.